Hello everybody, so Alien Roger, I'm going to show you today a new Call of Duty Black Ops 2 tool. So the latest version is Black Ops 2 Compact version 2.0. I will go in private mode to show you how it works basically and how to use it. So let me set a few votes. Um, and we will choose a map. Uh, no, standards. I check it for example. Choose a game mode, so I choose art points for the game mode, it's better for me, get more time to explain, spawn doesn't move at all. So, as you can see right here, on the tool you get the map name, the game type, and the number of player in the game. So when I will start the game, you will be able to see that it's changed, it will change. So, now I'm in add jacket, hard points, and... I'm only one because the bots will come right after me right here and as you can see the number right here grown to 12 because we are now 12 player we are playing outborn and in the jacket and you are using a, a public tab what's a public tab so as you can see here there are seven tabs uh, every tab is different to each other if you go to the for first tab it's public so you can use it in public or in private doesn't matter this one is private so if you use it in public match you might get banned or you might get trouble with stack or fuck even if I add some securities same for the weapon so you can change your weapon your camo but only in private match if you use it online you might get problems too and for the cheat tab it's mixed cause this half is in private only and this part is in is in public so first basically what you can do right here you can ch change your FOV in the CG CG box so if you just ch CG you can change your FOV right here so yeah that's cool let's put it 200 let's get back a bit like this you can change your FOV score so when you're aiming it will be your your FOV will be a lot bigger like this uh, you can change your FPS so as you can see at the top left corner on the top right corner of, of your screen I got I can't go further than 90 FPS here I can go a lot more further if I set it to zero I will get like unlimited FPS uh, so next part is the gun position so you can change the X axis like this the Y axis like this that's cool and the z-axis also like this one so should be cool like if you change your x-axis for example and you're playing with gun it was really tiny i got tiny carriage okay so here you can change the si the icon size the rank size and the name size of the head of your teammates and enemies and here you can remove the name, the ranks, like the like. If I got team, yeah, bot. Come back. So you can disable his name, his rank. Come back. So here there is no rank over the head. Here's come back. You can also disable crosshair. You you can also disable your crosshair. But it will never appear back if you uncheck the box. Same for no gun. So if you check no gun, your gun will disappear. But you will never get it back. Even if you, uh, you just have to wrench the game again if you want to get your gun back. Uh, also, I had no chat. So what is no chat? Basically, if somebody spamming you like your faggots and something, um, you click on no chat and it will disappear. And if you click back, it will appear back again. So it's really useful if somebody flame you. You want to go to your settings, disable it. Something like that, so you can click on no chat. Okay, so here after it there's CG color. So CG, what is CG color? Basically, is to change the color of your game. So here you can put it in, in like a gray scroll. Like you can, your game will be gray. Everything will be gray. Uh, you can also change the the temperature so if you change it like this you will get something who's orange your game will be orange like the gray scroll but orange scroll and if you change it a lot more 
you will get back to normal oh you will get an insane look like this so it look like blur oh it look like a lot more cooler with more colorful yeah a lot more better and if you uncheck it you will get everything back to normal uh, if you want to, if you have any idea to improve this cheat, so you can contact me on MPG YouTube or Twitter. Be free to to add me or to contact me. Okay, thank you, bots. Uh, here's the um, the feed, so as you can see, my feed right here. You can change. I can change the color of my feed if I click on. I don't know if I choose green and purple. If I click on activate feed, so the feed will be purple. If I click on white, it will be white, black, blue, purple, green, pink, red. And yeah, that's it. And if you uncheck it, it will get back to normal. Uh, now the seater, so you can change the your your screen like. If you, if you are known or nothing, it will let you the basic sky if you click on alien, aqua, blue, green lime, morning, orange, red, purple and yellow. You will get a custom green screen if you want some for some edits. Like if you need a, I don't know, a red screen, you can get a red screen, a purple screen, things like that. That's really cool. I also had something called no player, so if I found... Come on, yeah. Robot, it will disappear if I click on no player. Like this. As you can see. So, everybody disappear, and if you uncheck it, everybody will appear back. Should be good for animation, transition, for edits, something like that. Here's the death of field. I don't really know how to use it because I, I made it, but I didn't know how it works basically. If you know it, feel free to use it. Same for SSAO, so ambient occlusion. If you know how to use it, I don't, so because I don't make any montage, so I don't know. Use it. And next part is the fog part. So here you can change the fogs. So you can get a custom config. Like you can choose where you want the fog to start, distance, where is it? Like where it will start like this. On your left and your right. The exposure if you want it to be really really dark or not really. And you can change also the color. So here I can make this in. I can make it like different color. Like I will make green and so here's the green part and here's the purple part and you can mix them or you can do sync color and if you move the the left one, it will change the color of both. So you you could get a really nice effect. You could get a really nice effect for montage and things like that. You can also use some custom games as config. So there is a foggy day, the equator, the pitch back, the tempest, the, the forest fire, smoke. It's like really cool. I like the smoke one so much because it looks so dumb when I use it. Uh, and also the buffer. The buffer is a custom one I found on Google, and uh, yeah, I think it's cool. And if you unclick it, uh, if you uncheck Game Source Config right here, you will see that everything will get back to normal. So here's the sun's part. So you will be able to change. You will be able to change your sky. So by default, your sky temperature is by seven thousand, and you can make it a lot more blue, a lot more orange like this and you can change the transition so the transition is like the gamma of the sky yeah you, you can call it like that the gamma of the sky and you can also change the brightness so you can get some nice dumb sky like this one you can oh I don't know you can get something a lot more blue will look like a lot more foggy or things like this for example 
like an invert sky so you can invert a bit the color of the sky that's so I like I like this look cool honestly come on um, so as I told you these things there's also the sunlight direction so sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't when you look at the sky the light direction should change or something like that and you can also change the light color so to change it you need to restart the game or set it just before you start the game I don't know why sometimes it were so, uh, it doesn't work like instantly you need to restart the game or something like that so now go to the private tab so the private tab is a, a rename bot so if you click it by default you get a, a warning message so it says be sure to be in private lobby to use this tab if you don't want it anymore so you can click on don't show warning message or if you like it you can yeah, do something like that so here you can change your health, so basically you can change your health to, I don't know, 500 and change the bot health to 30, so if you find a bot, like an enemy bot, you will, will if I find an enemy bot, you will see that I'm able to one shot him, like this, boom, because his health is close to 30%, so it's cool for people who wants to fake some sniper clips or things like that, so you, you will be sure that you always one shot bots. Uh, here you can read the name of the bot. So if I click refresh name, so this one is your name. It will not be. It will not appear because your name is really different. And here's all the bots' names. So here's your enemy bots' name, and here's your teammates' names. So if I set mine to, I don't know if I made it in red, and it's a Lindra, and I said. For YouTube's uh, here you can say the no and PGH and Twitter and you can do anything right here. You can also call your your enemies like you can make them in phase phase no optic for example or anything and just rename them. I do some random shit on my keyboard and if I click on send names you will see that everybody gets renamed if you don't set any clan tag the clan tag will be automatically removed from the game and if you set one the clan tag will appear like I did like for Twitter for mpj and if you change the color like for example like to connect me I want his name to be in green or this one I want his name to be in cyan and change the name and boom right here and you can see when I press tab I can see this the names the color of the names change so yeah that's good and next one is weapon so this is also a private tab if you if you click on enable weapon and here you can choose uh, you can choose any weapon you want and as you can see I got like I got the peacekeeper. Uh, I don't know if I choose something else like the SMR. Uh, sorry. So I got an SMR. I can get a SMR. No, I can't. Okay. Can get a DSO. Uh, and if you want, you can change the camo also. Like. If you, if you don't like the camo, change the camo to, for example, gold. Oh, diamond, 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 diamond. Where are you, diamond? Like this. Oh, not dragon. Like I don't know, you coupon. Come on. Like this. So this look really nice. Like if you don't have any, if you don't have I don't know the the peacekeepers like me because I didn't buy this the the pack. So 
So you will be able now to click with the peacekeeper with custom camos on it. And yeah, so that's it for this tab. You can also go to the next tab with cheat. So this one is mixed as I told you. You can use half of this one in private. So host only. You should check it. You can change your spread, your reload speed, your fire speed and your aim speed and you need to click on all perks and you will be able to shoot so fast as you can see right here if I take this and you don't have to reload because it will reload automatically like instant it's not like automatically but it instantly like it's reload so fast for example if I take this gun I click on reload up oh, damn it's reload if I click on aim as you can see I, I am done sight so goddamn fast that's so cool uh, it doesn't work for a rifle weapon, like you will need to shoot every time. But yeah, it works for for a lot of things. It works for snipers who are not semi-automatic, like SVU or XPR, things like that. But as you can see, there's default like when you are using it, if you keep pressing like your fire, your fire, fire click, like a mouse click or something like this, you will get a recall. So. I had a non non host mode, so you can get the visa attack. Like oh, like everybody right now online, there's a lot of visa attacking people. So yeah, you can get it. You can get one too, and and rape the damn asshole. Um, what you can do? You can get you can get no recall too. So in private it's a bit glitchy, but in multiplayer it works well. So if you're firing, if I'm firing, you can see that. You can both stop firing, thank you. If I shoot, you will see that it's not moving at all. It's moving because there are some bots that are firing at the same time as me. But normally it should not move. Okay, so, and you can get also physical charm. So what physical charm is, is... When you when you want to see how it look like click I don't know normal and here you can get a cool preview of how it will look in game. If you click on physical charm or oh, preview like this, you will be able to see how it looks even if you are not in game. You could discover a custom color that you could hood that you can use after. So that's so nice. Um, yeah, for example, you can change it to white, like this, and the preview will be white too. So you can preview your charms before before changing it. Um, yeah, so all the files will be in the description. You can also save your save your file. So if you close it, if I open it back. Um, let me two seconds to find it back. If you open the games back and you click on, I don't know if, if I click on load, everything will get back to your last test setting, to the last test settings you saved. Oh, there's one thing. I, one thing I didn't do is the cheat tab because I think you need to. If you change it. If you change it once, uh, you need to change it like all the times because maybe you want it to be set every time. This. Okay, uh, and yeah, basically that's how it works. You can click on info, and as you can see right here, this shit has been made by, by Lindra, so coding and decided as me and uh, some people helped me to find some offsets so I found like 3 or 4 of the offset, uh, like 75% of the offset and I need the help of Journal, Hydra and Gamesouls to find, so Gamesouls to find the folks, uh, also the champs and Hydra helps me to find the, the L's 
and the weapons camos as like as journal for every place for so thanks to them and yeah all the rest I found it by myself so this Steve was or those names right here so yeah uh, this status bar so, who looks really cool so if you like this tool drop a like download it use it and uh, yeah bye bye